we've already touched on this some with OneDrive, but one of the important things you want to be able to do is find your files on the computer. So let's uh, just do a quick look at how you find your files. Um, and again, with Windows, there are a couple ways to do everything. So before in Windows 7, you would click on the Explorer icon or in the Start menu, you would go to Computer and it would still give you the Explorer as well. Go to your C drive or other storage. Windows 8, same thing. You had the Explorer icon on the window or on the taskbar. So very similar to Windows 8, you had the Explorer icon on the taskbar. You click on that, it would take you by default to this PC. You could see your drives and your folders, any favorites, your OneDrive, or you could search again, dot doc, see what there is. And Windows 10 is very similar. So I could search on my computer for, let's see, uh, .txt files. I could see options in the store. I could see if I had any on the computer. I don't. Let's make one so we know we can find it. So let's just do a new text document. And we'll call it test. And I'm going to put it in my documents. And I started typing test. And it automatically told me that I have a test.txt file. So that's good. And I could right click on that. I could open the file location. And it takes me to the Explorer window exactly where it is. So one way to find your files, search. On the taskbar, there's still the folder for the file explorer. I click on that. It gives me the recent files that I've worked on, which is nice. Frequent folders that I go to. Um, so they're not really libraries anymore, but it's still the same equivalent. And these are the pictures on this PC it's telling me. And of course, I have quick access on the side of places that I usually go to. My OneDrive, this PC, anything on the network and home groups. Now search, as I mentioned, is anywhere, but I could also search in the Explorer window. Again, and just type test and hit enter. It's actually not as fast in Explorer as it is everywhere because it doesn't have the intelligence. It's going through and finding everything that has test. Whereas when I searched down here, it was really going for things that are more relevant to me. Okay, so it automatically pulled up a text document that's one of my files. So finding your files, really not much different. File Explorer, search, start menu, File Explorer right there as well. You've got a couple ways you can get to it. By default, it goes to the frequent folders. This PC shows you the hard drives. And that's how you find your files in Windows 10.